previously on JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Who does this guy think he is, Bruce Lee? is about to set. Didn't Shade say three hours? Guess that cocky beggar had a bit more trouble finding Dio's mansion than he thought. Can't say I was expecting this to happen, though. Right, Havdal? I have a bad feeling. Maybe it's better if he doesn't find that accursed mansion. Mm -hmm. Hmm? You see, maybe he hasn't come back because he did find it. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? It didn't occur to me until a moment ago, but a stand user is likely to be guarding Dio's lair. We may have put that beggar's life in grave danger, if he hasn't already been killed. What? Are you serious? Oh my god! 
gonna go now! I know what it's doing! It's focusing on freezing the water around me! It's cut my air pipes! I, I don't think it's trying to suffocate me! Its real plan is to bury me alive! It's collapsing! This bird is too powerful for me to hold it off! And what's worse, I'm surrounded by ice and freezing water! Just my damn luck! So much for finding a decent hiding place to lay low in for a while! No other choice! I have to dig my way out! Give me a break! This stupid day has gone from bad to horrifying in the worst possible way! First I lose my leg and now some demon bird wants me flattened into a frozen dinner! Damn, I can't hold it off anymore! I'm about to be crushed! I need to take myself out of here now! What is that? It looks like someone dug a tunnel down here. But why? Shoot another ice missile! Damn it! My stand is being held by the ice! I can't defend myself! And there's no one for me to escape! Wait, that's it! Either way you slice it, it's do or die time! Should have catapult me forward like a spinning bullet! Welcome to the stage of history retold. I got out of there alive. That dumb bird didn't have to die, but it left me no choice. One of us had to go. But it looks like this will probably be the end for me. I've been bleeding out for a while now! I hardly have enough strength in my body to keep myself afloat, let alone make it back to shore, which means I'm gonna drown. Why is this happening? I was supposed to live a troubled life.
six. Fight! Welcome to the stage of history retold. Soul of Hilda. Come, let's be off. Soul of Siegfried. What do we have here? She doesn't know what's going on. You wish to You're now you lying know. in the breakfast nook. Do you think that's acceptable wolf-like behavior? Look at me when I'm talking to you. Man, Emma, you are a goober. Yes, you are. Thinking that that is your spot. That is not your spot. Your spot is somewhere under this tree. Right over there. That's your spot. And you think that this is where a wolf should live? You are very, very mistaken. Yeah, it should be out there. Out there. That's where you should live. Not in the house. <laughs> Guys, the next Black Del Paso is in 40 minutes. The Briggs is ahead of us. Will he already be there? No. He'd never Welcome risk to going through an airport. History. Too many cops, too many cameras, too much security. <laughs> Meow. Brr, brr. I think you're dreaming. No, Ooh. I'm not. Here Let's make go. scalding asphalt angels. Ow, 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 ow. Second degree burns, first degree fun. Geez, how long we gotta stand out here like this? Till Briggs comes through. You know, I was thinking about that, Joe. If Briggs is driving here, that's like 2,000 miles. It's gonna be at least a couple of days. Huh. Well, I guess you're right. Oh, what are we gonna do for two days in El Paso? 
There's a Chicano Heritage Festival. No way. KC and the Sunshine Band is playing. Why? Or we could visit the Pershing House where John Pershing took control of the 8th Army Brigade in 1914. Relax. So that's his bed? Home. Yes. So that's his desk? Yes. So that's his lamp? Yes. So that's his dresser? Hello? Yes. So that's Police? his window? Yes. So that's Some his floor? Yes. Girl is Their quagmire. Is that Briggs? Now this guy's clean. We'll send him through. What's the hold up? Sombreros, maracas, ceramic Winnie the Pooh dolls. Get them now, folks. You're not going to find this stuff in Mexico. Come on. What's going on up there? Briggs. Damn it. He's getting away.
is done, you son of a bitch. Please, don't kill me. I'm not married. My life is awesome. I've waited 15 years for this moment, Briggs. Do you have any idea what it's like to have to lift yourself into a wheelchair every morning? To have your wife look at you like you're half a man. To get preferential parking. To board a plane early with the first class people and gold card members. Uh, it's not all bad. But I'm not going to kill you. I'm not an animal like you. Well, what are you going to do, arrest me? No. I don't arrest cripples. <laughs> By the way, you're under arrest. I only said that last thing because it seemed cool. Oh my god, that was so awesome. I saw everything. You were all like... Rah, 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 and Briggs was all like... Rah, 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 rah. And then you were all like... Psh, psh, psh. And then Briggs' legs were like... <laughs> oh crap, he's dead. I think he bled out. I must have hit the femoral artery. Uh, just kick him into Mexico. Guys, I can't thank you enough for what you did. You risked your lives for me, and I couldn't have done it without you. Hey, that's what pals are for. Yeah, thanks for letting me fire a few rounds into Briggs's corpse. That was the most powerful I've felt in a couple years. Well, you guys helped me finally have some closure in my life. I feel like a new man, like I'm reborn. Joe, you have blood just pouring out of your pant leg. Yeah, I had a ball blow in the river. Welcome to the stage of history retold. Mm -hmm. Damn that mangy mutt, where the hell did he run off to? He's gotta stop pulling stunts like this. I'm starting to get worried, he's been gone for a while. That lousy flea bag. <laughs> Jotaro, what's the matter? There must be someone following us again. Not quite, but I thought I heard a voice, like someone's calling out to us. A voice? What's 
this? It looks as though someone treated his wounds. I have to say, they did a great job. But it wasn't Iggy that I heard. Hmm? Whoever was calling out to us was definitely human. Uh-huh. Iggy did have a run-in with the enemy. When we found him, he was half dead in the arms of a boy. So the Speedwagon Foundation doctors saw to his wounds. They did the same. For my eyes. It's you! You're finally back! <laughs> it's Cockyoin! Yeah, great. Um, I'm kind of busy here. I gotta load all your science crap onto the X1. Tragic fall of the cherry blossom magnifies its beauty as with life. Good to see you, Kakuin! How's it going? Kakuin, <laughs> tell me, how are your eyes treating you? I'm glad you're all safe. We missed you, pal. <laughs> so, they were able to treat you? Yes, I'm ready for action. While it's true I'll have a few scars, my eyesight is back to normal. We're all really glad to hear that. Where do you think you're going, Iggy? He may have been quite indifferent toward humans and stands in the past, but now it looks like he's trying to lead us somewhere. I'm not aware of all the details surrounding his encounter with the enemy stand, but judging from his resolve, this is about revenge. Maybe, but that still doesn't explain where he's taking us. Hang on, Iggy! Wait for us! Huh? I recognize that car. It's the same fancy ride the beggar was driving. This wreckage mean that he... <laughs> what? How? What's strong enough to tear a hole through a car like a piece of wet newspaper? <laughs> it would seem as though I was right to be concerned about him. He should have never been involved. Is it possible this is the handiwork of the stand user Iggy fought earlier? All signs seem to point to that being the case. <laughs>
What lay before Jotaro and the others was something more sinister than anything they'd previously faced. They would soon look upon the source of their predicament and the very embodiment of evil. The path that had led them here was long and arduous. Foreign lands shrouded in mystery and treacherous stand-using assassins met them at every step. Each battle was a struggle for survival, where the wrong move would spell out certain death. There were tears, laughter, sadness, rage, and joy. The journey affected them all. Now, nearly 50 days have passed since the team departed Japan on their quest to save the life of Jotaro's mother, Holly. Everything led to this. The time had come to defeat Dio and end the hundred-year curse afflicting the Joestar family. Joseph was determined to save his daughter Holly, and nothing and no one was going to stand in his way. Kakuin vowed to remain resolute. He would defeat Dio not only to save Holly, but to overcome his own weaknesses. Abdal was steadfast in his conviction, considering it his personal duty to root out evil wherever it lurked. Polnareff was determined to make the tyrant Dio suffer for turning him into a puppet and forcing him to betray his own principles. Iggy's spirit was untamable. He knew his life of turmoil could be traced back to a single man and was intent on making sure the bastard faced his wrath. And so... In other words, if we beat the shit out of Dio in there, this damn nightmare will be over once and for all. That's right, and the sense of evil confirms that he's here. He's hiding inside the mansion like the coward he is. It's hard to believe, but... We finally reached the end of this hellacious journey. All right, man, you ready? Welcome to the stage of history retold. Soul of Sigma. Astaroth. It is time. The tragic fall of the cherry blossom magnifies its beauty as with life. Sense Dio, 
then it stands to reason that he has the ability to sense us too. If we try to enter the mansion guns blazing, no doubt we'll be playing right into the enemy's hands. Before we do anything, we need to think of a strategy. Careful, the door is opening! Everyone on guard! Yeah! <laughs> 
Unbelievable. You will be erased. It is here. Curse your weakness. Despair. Charge. You cannot resist. Start now. Well, what now? I thought so. Hey, oh. Battle six. Fight! Scarlet Flea! It won't go easy. You're mine! Farewell. Pitiful. You will be erased.